in the name of allah the beneficent the merciful dear audience i am dr khulam shahzad from national university of modern languages islamabad since i have been talking about phrases so in this video i am going to conclude phrase structure rules we have already read about noun phrase verb phrase adjectival phrase prepositional phrase and adverbial phrase now it is time that in total i should talk about all these phrases their rules and then i should conclude them in this video s is equal to np and vp this is what we have already read and this is one of the phrase structure rules our next rules are np is equal to determiner a which is optional adjective n which is an head noun and pp or modifying sentence then we have got a verb phrase here verb is the head word then we can have an np which is optional then we can have pp which is again optional and then we can have a modifying sentence or another vp ap adjectival phrase is equal to a which is adjective adjective will be the head word here and then pp which is a prepositional phrase which is given here in bracket which is optional and s which is a modifying sentence proud of her she is proud of her son so proud is the adjectival phrase adjective of her son is you know prepositional phrase if we divide it further so we can get of her son of preposition and her son noun phrase adverbial phrase is equal to optional adverb and then adverb phrase pp is equal to p and then np so p will be the head word preposition and then np into the ground so into the ground is a prepositional phrase it starts with preposition in and then the ground so the ground is np the rules say that a sentence is the combination of np and vp and an np can be made up of a determiner any number of a's adjectives an obligatory n and any number of pp's and so on of the possible tree structures that these rules can generate the following is just one example so please have a look at this so the t diagram here that you can see is s it can have np and we can further divide the np into determiner a adjective and n noun vp it can have a v so then it can further be divided into an np and pp so np we can have determiner and noun and pp we can have p which is a preposition and np and again np can have determiner and noun so you should pay attention to this t diagram and you should try to understand the phrase structure rule here with the structural possibilities shown here let us assume that we have the following lexical entries so for a we can if we can have determiners like a and this that any some which his her no adjectives we can have handsome tall fat pretty beautiful and noun we can have book man woman chair fan dog verb we can have kicked smiled washed watched things imagine inserting these elements in the appropriate pre terminal nodes in 99 we are able to generate various sentences like these so i have already shown you a t diagram have a look at it again and if we put all these elements in their proper appropriate places we can generate unlimited number of sentences 
so phrase structure rules are limited in number they are finite in number but the sentences that they can produce they are unlimited in number they are infinite in number now here again the rule will be explained then t diagram will be talked about s is equal to np and vp and vp we can have v and then further a modifying sentence which can be vs look at it as we show in the following tree structure we can recursively apply the two rules in the sense that one can feed the other and then vice versa remember t diagrams they can make use of recursive rules recursive means that something which can be repeatedly used in that uh, you know rule and then a lot many sentences can be produced so s is np vp n is john believes so john believes np and vp so from vp we can have v and modifying sentence john believes mary thinks tom is honest so vp can have v and modifying sentence and then mary thinks mary is np and then v thinks and modifying sentence tom is honest so recursively if we produce this rule okay we can produce a bigger sentence we can produce unlimited number of sentences it is not difficult to expand this sentence by applying the two rules again and again recursive means that something which can come again and again so phrase structure rules they can be utilized recursively and they have got hierarchical structure bill claims john believes mary thinks tom is honest and in this way number of sentences can be produced or a bigger sentence can be produced so re re recursive application of ps rules one structure which can also recursively involves sentences involving auxiliary verbs as noted before in 79 an auxiliary verb forms a larger vp after combining with a vp s here you can see np further divided into n they which is a pronoun basically vp will study so will is auxiliary and its representation you can see in the tree diagram and then v which is a study verb english syntax and vp can have v and np so this is how you know recursively uh, you know ps uh, rules they can be applied and bigger sentences they can be produced so this is another vp rule 106 they will have been studying english syntax look at the t diagram they will have been studying so s it can be divided into np and vp so np will be they and vp it can have will which will be an auxiliary verb and then vp and vp it can further have have and then vp it can further have been so there are three helping verbs will have been and then main verb studying english syntax that is vp this vp can further be divided into studying english syntax english syntax will be np and studying will be vp another important property of ps phrase structure rules bring us in the ability to make reference to hierarchical structures within given sentences where parts are assembled into sub structures of the whole look at another sentence 107 the little boy hit the child with a toy look at the t diagram vp vp can be further divided into vp and pp hit the child so vp can have v and then np hit the child and pp with the toy another representation of t diagram can be hit the child with the toy vp it can further have hit and np and np can be further divided into determiner d np n child and with the toy pp so it is up to you dear students that how you are going to draw the t diagram so it means that the little uh, boy hit the child with the toy it can have two t diagrams its representation can be given in two different 
uh, you know representations look at a it a and b vp vp and pp and vp v and np so under np we can have determiner n and pp or there under vp we can have vp and pp and this is how two different representations they can be made last thing that i should talk about in this video is the xp xp is equal to xp xp plus conjunction and then xp xp here stands for any phrase the coordination rule says two identical xps or xp categories can be coordinated and form the same category xp we know that coordination means that to equal size to equal length to equal weight categories can be coordinated can be joined together with the help of and but so so applying this ps rule we will then allow 111a but not 11b look at a pp in their rooms or on the porch or is conjunction in their rooms equal length or on the porch equal length so two xps which are basically here pps they can be combined with the coordinating conjunction that is over here so equal length in their rooms or on the porch equal length but not to the store and crazy because to the store is again pp and is coordinating conjunction but crazy is adjective so they cannot stand together they cannot come together dear audience in this short video i have summarized the phrase structure rules i have talked about np vp pp adjectival phrase and adverbial phrase and then some other three different ps rules they have been discussed in this video where we have talked about that how in t diagram different representations they can be made of the ps rules and lastly i have talked about coordinating conjunction thank you very much